All right, fine. We'll do like an hour of lead fishing. Who needs to sleep anyways? <laughs> Who needs to sleep when I could be fishing? I could be fishing right now. I could have been fishing for the past three hours. Let me set this up. Only for an hour, though. Only one hour. We're back. We're so back. Why is that showing up there? One. This. And then. Uh. Weird. Why is that being captured? I don't know. Whatever. All right. Let me go set up the lobby real quick. Whew. I think I'll put some music in the background for this one. I said I'd do that last time. I'll put some nice Yume Toki music in the background. Uh, let's see. Here's the lobby code. Pin this. Alright. Back to more of that fishing. I didn't like anything else last time. Oh, I did! Nice! I was like fishing in the void for a while. Great vest. Oh wait, I don't actually want that. I got the got the light cut already. Yeah, we can stretch real quick. This rending feels like what a post-apocalyptic horror game as a normal person and not the protagonist would feel like. Yeah, but on the other hand, you're playing as Norman Reedus. Like, Norman Reedus, of all people. I don't get... Uh, <laughs> you can't really get more not normal than that. And he was also supposed to be the protagonist of Silent Hills. Okay, let me put this in the background. Where is it? Did I lose it? Oh, I think I lost it. Oh, shit, hold on. Um, where did it go? Oh, that's what happened. Okay, hold on. Close that. And I'll put this back. There we go. Yeah, not just Norman Reedus, but Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. I hate that I actually know what that means because, like, I don't even know much about, like, Death Stranding, but I know about the baby. The actual baby part. Uh, is I going to miss anything else? Wait, I should probably update the title too, huh? I have no mouth and I must fish. I forgot the uh, other part of the title, but whatever. The uh, the 2.0 stuff in the Discord and everything else. Where are we going to go? Where should we fish? Right, you know what I was doing? To I think I remember what I was trying to do. I was trying to get the... Um something here the freshwater fish unlocked do i have what the hell is that that thing is more bigger what the hell is that that thing is bigger than the entire fucking island of course we got the fucking grinders here everyone keeps telling me to buy this should i i don't know do you like fishing do you like animal crossing you should not feel pressured to buy something but if it's a game that you look like it looks like you'd enjoy, then by all means, yes. Okay. Mm. Get out of here! I'm trying to fish here. Fuck off! I literally cannot see. Okay, let's go. Do I have any more sodas? I've got so much soda. I forgot. I I, I bought too much soda last time. I think I also had this. I do want this. Too much soda. I, I, inv I injected too much Dr. Pepper into my veins. My bad, guys. It won't happen again. It'll happen again. Alright. What was it again? What, I forgot my goal was last time. Here we go. Now let's go see. What was I doing? Extra bait? What the fuck? 
Whoa. What kind of lure am I using? Wait, this is this is kind of big. Wait, what? It's kind of this might be big. Oh. This is not big. What the hell is this? Four star what it's so tiny! Are you shitting me? 155. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Also, thank you for the 500 bits, Shirus. I haven't been around. Much love, Beryl. Much love, chat. And remember to take care of yourselves. Also, congrats on your 10k badge. Oh my god, Jesus. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. No, 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 no problem. It's always more important to take care of yourself, too, before uh, focus on any part of your life. So, I'm glad you're focusing on yourself before anything else. I'm very, very glad to hear that. Cut a shrimp. Yep, not big. I know it's not big. Alright, I guess I'll use the sparkling lure. I'll keep on using that. Check my mailbox. I don't think it's all this. Soda tab. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. All this soda. I can use this as part of my my fucking like Dr. Pepper collection. Dear Bill, who gave me weed? I cannot fish while high. That'll make me less, like, cohesive when I'm trying to reel in my rod. I'll take that. Fine, I'll take the weed, though, but I'm not gonna use it. That's all this. How do you have this much shit? What's wrong with you? I'm selling- I hope you know this- that I'm selling this later on. Opulent drink rings? Didn't you read the message? You gave me so much trash, I didn't even see the message! No! Dear Beryl, here's my super chat. Wow, it's a coin bag. Thank you. I'm trying to fish! <laughs> I'm trying to catch a big one here! Ooh! <gasps> Axolotl! Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Ooh! Actually, I was looking for this. I wanted this. Okay. Fuck off out of here. All right. So, wait, hold on. Cut stuff too. I'm running out of my drink tab because of this. A huge walleye. What, how much money do I have? Not that much, actually. I think someone, right, someone gifted me this, the Hello Caprion. I never actually managed to catch that myself. That might be a um, another thingy. I want to get more of the rods. Because someone told me that if you get the special rods, um, you get the cool effects. I am not even that far into my level, honestly. So I need that. I'm missing these things. I'm missing the, uh, the giant ass... The giant ass, like, old fish. I heard a guy caught a six pound crawfish in Hawaii. Dude, imagine, imagine if you caught that or if like you uh, was served that inside a restaurant and it was like the same price as everything else. And they were like, yeah, well, our fisherman got really lucky. So you get, you are the lucky uh, chosen guy who gets to eat the six pound crawfish. What is this? Dear Beryl, I want this back. I just want to show off. It's a big fish. It's a flounder. What? This is not a big fish. Fine, you can have it back though. I'm trying to fish! Get out here! Here, take your dumb flounder back. I'm approaching. I'm approaching your position very fast. Let me focus on my fish. I want to do fishing for an hour, not read messages for an hour straight. I must fish. It's all I want in life. Fish. No, you sent- take it back. I'm going somewhere else. You guys are being like... Way, way, way too much. I'm going somewhere else. Fuck off. Go enjoy your dumb pond life someplace else. I'm going to the river. Some can't compare sizes. I literally caught a new... I caught a shrimp. 
That was the first thing I caught, I believe. It was a four-star shrimp. A crawfish. Alright. Let me get fish here. Size shrimple. It's a normal crawfish blood with 10 crawfish and one six fucking pounds. <laughs> it's like the size of the bucket at that point. Dear Beryl. Hello, Paul Pogren. Is this one of those? This is the one that I don't have, isn't it? Four star. This was a lot. Oh my god. Okay, I'll send this back. How big is this, anyways? What the hell? Is this the one that's like the size of the island? Jesus Christ. Normal crawfish boil, but it's all very large lobsters. <laughs> Have you seen the size of these things? It's like too big. Actually too big. These fish, they'd be like mutations. Like they probably have radiation injected into their veins. Okay, the sparking water is actually pretty, pretty good. You wanna show off the flounder? Go show off on your own then. I wanna fish. Pearl, can you change your title? Do I have the shed? The only title I'll switch to is the shithead title. Can you saw a mouth for Big Mouth Bass? What? Like, what title are you talking about? I don't have shithead unlocked. Your category is wrong again? Did I change it again? Oh my god. I cannot. OBS fucking sucks tonight. Every single time. Alright. Got a glistening red herring. I'm never catching that that uh giant fish thing tonight. Wait, oh my god! Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm locking, I'm locking, I'm locking in. Holy shit. This has to be big, this has to be big, this has to be massive. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Big, 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 big! Uh, whoa. A bull shark. Actually, well, he looks so angry. <laughs> Why is he so angry? Why is bro so angry? Uh, I can't hide my text. I can't want to take a photo of that. What is this? It is 1800. Oh my god. Not bad. Okay, well, if he didn't want to get caught, he shouldn't have been inside the tiniest swamp pond in the first place. So with that, I think I'm missing... Oh, I don't have the normal version of that. Can you catch this and this? I want to catch a rare alligator. I want to catch a good rare alligator. Go to raw dobster. Crawfish is priced per ounce. Order crawfish. Get crawfish. Get six, send six pound crawfish with one tablespoon of butter. Only one tablespoon. That reminds me. There's like a funny, there's a funny uh, movie. By the way, hi Godot. Welcome in. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, there's a funny movie, a short film. Uh, what was it called? It's like a short film, a short indie horror film that takes place inside a red lobster. I've showed it to like everyone I know. It's really, really funny. <gasps> Alligator! Hey! That's exactly what I was looking for. 780. It's another higher rarity too. Oh. Damn, I'm finding so many like big fish tonight. This sparking lure was actually kind of good. It Never heard this movie before. Let me go find it real quick. Hold on. Red Lobster Short Horror Film. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's, yes, it's that one. The one where the woman goes through a, like a, a Red Lobster commercial multiple times. It's uh, literally... It's literally... Um... No, she does not fuck the lobster. No. It's it's about like a woman who is inside a red lobster commercial, but she becomes like slowly self-aware that she is stuck inside a looping red lobster commercial. It's called a uh, great great choice great choice how is it? Great choice. So, it's a short indie horror film, but I don't think you can actually 
you can't watch it on YouTube because it uses Red Lobster as its actual like uh, setting. And I think the creator was like scared that if they posted it online, they like Red Lobster would like take it down through copyright. So you can catch you can't watch it on YouTube, but there's other ways you can watch it. And if you do get to watch it, I highly, highly recommend it because it's just it's so over the top. It's so funny. It, it like, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. She becomes aware that she's in a commercial like over and over again. The commercial is like no longer than like 30, 40 seconds long. But like every single loop, she becomes more and more self-aware to the point where like, you know, she tries to do something about it. Yeah, it's it's very, very iconic. Ooh, a king salmon. Wait, my soda. I forgot about that. I'm getting so many like expensive fish now. What the hell? Where was this luck when I needed it before? <laughs> God damn it. I'm bringing this back. A marlin? A guppy? Do I have any time strategy around dinner time? Uh, maybe? Possibly? That depends, I guess. Are there still red lobsters? Yes, there are. They still exist. They're still the thing. I want to do movies. Oh, you mean that? I actually haven't done movies yet. Yeah, I kind of want to do movies. I want to watch, like, The Raid. That's, like, the first movie I kind of want to, like, host as a community thing. Because that is absolutely my favorite, like, movie ever made, hands down. Well, action movie ever made, hands down. When? I haven't really decided yet. I haven't been been busy. I've been so busy lately. I'm trying to get my stuff in order for my 2.0. Like, the idea was, like, once I get my 2.0 done, I can start, like, you know... I can start worrying less about, like, all that stuff that comes along with it. And start focusing on, like, more cool stuff, like events and community stuff. Also, if you guys don't ask about the 2.0, it is not happening in October. <laughs> well, it's going to be pushed into November, currently, at the moment. Talk to me. Oh, I heard about that one. I heard that one did pretty good, actually. I don't know anything about that because um, I heard because I heard the fact that it's going to be good. Um, I didn't want to get spoiled at all about it, so I haven't even seen any trailers about it. Did you, the Raid people make a short film? Yes! Actually, well, it's not a short film, but uh, the guy who made it, he made another film called The Apostle. And it's not like, you know, action-y like The Raid. But the essence of like his filmmaking and everything that he learned from The Raid is still sort of there. And there's like a few action-y moments in it. It's not obviously- whoa, hold on. I need to lock in. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Oh, come on. God damn it. Alright, hold on. I need to go sell this stuff. Rank up. Rank 30. Jesus Christ, took long enough. It's horror and pretty dark from my herd, so it's pretty good. Hopefully, I think I can be available. Eye patch? Wait, I can get an eye patch? Is that a... Oh, I can get an eye patch. Hmm. Can I get a medical eye patch? Can I be like a chuny? We, uh, there needs... Okay, developer, if you're listening to this, you probably are not, because... <laughs> but if you are listening to this, please add a medical eye patch so I can be like a chuny. Hmm. Sell. I want to sell stuff. Hey, stepped in. Hey, Puffy. You don't have a fish want me woman fear me hat for the occasion? Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Hold on, let me put that back on. Give me a sec. I hope it's like on proper. I don't think I saved it last time, did I? Go see. It's. Oh, God. Okay, well, hold on. I can fix this. Give me a sec. Let's need to put this away. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to like manly fix this on my own. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. And then. There we go. All right, we're back. We're still back. Nice. So anyway, what was I saying? 
I forgot what I, I forgot what I was talking about. What I was rapping about. Um, it's all this. Thanks for walking into what day. Welcome in. I hope this is enough to like get my raw to max stuff. I've got a lot of money, like a shit ton of money. And good morning. Morning and it's web fishing. Life is good. Hmm. Ooh, 15,000. Do I want Nautilus for five star tier? Or do I want Rod Catch Chance? Maybe I should get this, because I can get more money. It's, it might be a better return on investment. Okay, I'll get the Nautilus. Okay, uh, we should be good. Let's go... Where should I fish now? The swamp? Oh, let me disable... I love the music right now, but I want to listen to, like, my human Nuki music. There we go. Is it too low right now? I'm turn it a bit higher. There we go. Nice silver. Uh, hmm. River or swamp? Isn't there like another, like a... Wasn't there like another song? Over, oh not song, another song. Wasn't there like another uh, pond over here or something? Or is it just a river? Let me check. Okay, there's that. That's where the drawing spot is. Is it just this? Actually, I've never seen people pike camp. I've never seen people fish here. Let me try this spot. There we go. And then... I'll make sure no one can find my spot like this. Alright. Let's try this. Let's, let's try this. Whoops. Soda! I need soda! Uh, this. Alright. Uh, and switch to Nautilus. Alpha fish. I want to catch something that's worth like 10,000 gold or cash. I wonder if you can get over there through bouncing on the mushrooms. I remember seeing someone like placing mushrooms. So maybe there's a mushroom prop. Oh, there's a bench over there. Hmm. Maybe there's a secret back there. Forty-five hundred. What the heck is a four? Jesus Christ! Forty-five hundred. I might need more rod power, actually. Yeah, that's true. If I get like an alpha fish, I will not be able to catch that normally. A both in these nuts. Oh, already? Holy crap! We're getting really expensive fish over here. This music's really nice, right? I used to have, uh, when I did more, like, uh, Yuma Tuki sections, I used to love having this in the background, Yuma Tuki background music. I'm lagging because I'm rendering. Rendering what? <laughs> Glistening walleye. A lionfish. Hey, Sloth. Yume Tuki? No, no, no. It's called uh, Yume Y U M E space Tuki. T uh, 2 K K I. Oops. Oh, the VODs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably just put the settings on this game to low, but this game is not, like, optimized proper. It's running in Godot, so it's gonna, it's gonna be laggy regardless. Especially with we have a lot of people in the server at once, then it gets really, really lo like super laggy. I think she'll clocking in. Sloth will come in. <gasps> I'm so tempted to get some cereal right now. Dry cereal. That those uh, fruity pebbles I got like the other day. But if I eat those, I'm gonna be up for like a long time, and that's gonna be good because I can't stay up longer than like 
more than an hour than when I said. I'm getting very, very high tier fish though, so that's nice. There. We caught a glistening pupfish. It's a little lad. 640. Oh, wow. This is worth a lot. Hey, this is getting a lot of like expensive stuff here. Dry fruity pebbles. Dude, I love fruity pebbles so much. It's been so long since I had like, you know, pure sugary cereals. And I'm glad I don't like eat them like all the time. Because it makes like eating them like that much more like satisfying when you like just order or like buy them after like eating like normal cereals for a long time. Can we try with the railing? Short. I like these types of angles they can do when you're like zooming in like this. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm glad that when you're fishing, your uh, your camera is not like... It's not centered on your character itself, but it's more centered around like where the rod is. So you can get these funny angles. Cinema. Peak cinema. Oh, my rod thing is going to expire. Maybe... I would have draw tonight, but there's not enough time, fortunately. I want to I wanna get as much as the, like, fish as I can. Eagle Scout. One day I'll get shit ahead. Not tonight, though. Yimatuki. Oh, let me put it in chat so you can, like, look it up. There it is. Oh, big. And that's what it's called, Yimatuki. Radiant small turtle. I don't want a small turtle. It's worth some decent money though. Yeah, there's actually a version of Yume Nikki and Yume Tuki and a lot of like other types of games like those. Uh on Ooh, that's a lot. Online, you can play with other people. That's what I was doing before. I used to have like I used to have quote unquote community nights playing Yume Tuki online. It's called Yume Nikki online. Y and Y and O online or Y N online, I believe. Tuki is yeah, Tuki is like the fan sequel to Yumaniki. It's not like a sequel in the sense that you know it's related by story, but it's more like a spiritual successor, I say. And it keeps on exp it keeps on like uh, growing and expanding. You can play it right now. But I think most people enjoy playing it like online because one, you don't have to download anything. And two, uh, you can just play with your friends if you want to. And it's a game where you really just sort of explore and take in the sights. Collect effects that do like funny things, but there's not really a goal in the game apart from just like... Checking out dreamscapes. And enjoying the music. I played that a lot, like a lot, a lot, in like last year around October and November. I kind of want to do it again. Once I uh, clear my backlog a little bit. Oh, goes my rock. No, I forgot my soda. Mm, there. A mushki. Also, if you can't join, or if you can't uh, fish, just rejoin the lobby. You should be fine. We have one, two, three, four, six people. You got six people in the lobby, so I think you're good. It's not like your spot's gonna be taken. I really haven't been on that site for a while. I think the last time I played it when I was playing um, Collective Unconscious. And Collective Unconscious was the Yume Nikki fan game that was literally made by the people who created and modded Yumaniki online. And it's sort of like a spiritual successor to Yumatuki, which is already like a spiritual successor to Yumaniki. I think the difference is that Collective Unconscious is more based off of like Western like uh, developers, whereas Yumatuki is more based off of like Japanese developers. That's not to say like, you know, it's any better or worse. 
It's just that it's just that uh, Tuki is more really focused on the people on the Japanese side, whereas the collective unconscious is more focused on the English speaking side. And I've seen a lot of cool worlds from both. I was kind of hoping that Collective Unconscious would have been like a bit more updated, considering like it might be easier for people to stay in contact, and the people who made Yumaniki online would be a little bit more active online. But as far as I know, I think I think uh, Collective Unconscious has like the same update has the same update speed as Tuki. Let me go on that site real quick. Yumaniki online. Why not online? Whoa, big. Yeah, the Yumaniki, like, Yumatuki, like, fan community is so nice. They're really, really cool. A turtle. I believe... I believe, like, uh, every week or so, they actually organize expeditions inside the games where they all just, like, get together and just walk around the dream worlds. It's pretty cool. Plus, Yuma Niki is sort of like my comfort game, too. Or, it was. Like I said, I haven't played it for a while, so I don't think I can call it my comfort game, but... I love the music in it. I like the vibes. It's like, just the right mix of, like, relaxing and dreamy and even occasional, like, spooky sometimes. I was thinking of a different work than Apostle. It was part of VHS2 called Safe Haven. Oh, Safe Haven's pretty cool, too. Yeah, I also like that too because it also has that same mix of like a horror with a tiny bit of action once in a while. It has a real- the sequence when it goes like when shit hits the fan, that's like also one of my most favorite like uh, series or sequences inside VHS. I'll probably host Yuma Nikki uh, and Yuma Tuki Community Nights soonish. I just need to... I just need to find time for it. Because we, we have like a lot of games now that people can like hop in within... Like we got web fishing, we have Yuma Nikki, uh, what else? There's Golf with Friends, I could probably pick that up again for like people to join. Mm, I got Ballistic NG. Basically like anything, I want to like mix it up. I don't want to like have like the same type of games over and over again. I want to like have different types of games that people can just join if they want to. If you want spooky though, there's a uh, on Yumaniki online project. It's called whynoproject.net, by the way. If you want to look at it, they have a. Um... Oh, they have another game. Oh my god, they got so many games on there. Jesus Christ. So, they currently have 190 people in Yumatuki uh, active on that server right now. They also have one shot. They added one shot to that somehow. Like, how the heck did you make one shot, like, online and multiplayer? Like, what the heck? I need to play that game, too. I can't play- I can't play one shot multiplayer before playing it single player, because I know that's, like, an experience you can only enjoy by yourself. No, Godot is just not well optimized. I think we established that. Every single time I see, like, a- like, a- a streamer playing this game with a bunch of people, it just gets super stupid laggy. I also need to finish Human Nikki. I wanna, I wanna like, maybe with the help of some people, I wanna get the ending of Human Nikki on the Wino Project uh, version, like the multiplayer version. How many Godot games have I played? Um, I played this one. And I think I played another one recently. This is the only ones at the top of my head. What did we play recently that was Goda Engine? Forgot. I, I cannot remember. Sulfur? Sulfur was like that. I've been playing that like uh, off stream. Because it's just the demo. I don't think it's worth like playing on stream. But uh, when that comes out. When that comes out um, next week. I'll probably be playing that like a lot. Like a lot a lot. My rod! No, my Dr. Pepper. This one. Find more free games? Alright, 
Guys, look forward to Neopets. <laughs> Community Night Neopets. You guys can all hop in for that. We can uh, duke it out in the Battle Dome. Ooh. Ooh. I'm running out of bait. Maybe I can upgrade my rod next. Why is it always the small ones, man? You hit it? Oh yeah, are you trying to do your trick shots? I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> you posted like a montage of like yourself doing like trick shots with your rod. Alright, um... Got three more. Let's go and just finish them. Does Neil Pets have PvP? Yes, kind of in a way. You can either like play against people uh, in certain mini games, or you can use your Neil Pets to fight other opponents in the battle dome. And it's sort of just like a turn based style, like battle thing, like Pokemon kind of. I used to have a really strong Neil Pet, but I lost him a while ago. <laughs> I never recovered my account because I, I did that thing when I was like stupid young and I made like an account that said I was like older than I actually was so I can unlock all the features for the site and unfortunately I forgot what my throwaway account was so that Neopet is now rotting inside my account starving to death forever. Kind of a shame because I had some pretty decent rare drops in that thing. Is this still the plushie minigame? I am not sure. Ever since Neopets uh, had to like revamp all their games to be proper for Flash or no more Flash, their games have been kind of hit or miss. And you need like, th what is it called? Ruffle? Some like integrated Flash thing for their games to work. I still think it's very, very sad that Flash had to die. Like, I know it's been a couple of years now, I should have moved on, but there are so many cool games and Flash animations and movies that were made inside like Adobe Flash. And you can still like, you know, technically get some extensions to make it work, but in the new web, like people don't use Flash anymore in their stuff. You can't make like cool like old sites or games that run on the engine. Oh, it's because it was easier to take it out back with a shotgun than to patch the many security flaws. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Can you just download the SWF files? I never knew how to pronounce that. This I'm just gonna call it the Swift files and piss people off, and run them in Dead K Player. No, you can. I actually uh, did that. See, uh, I played a couple of Flash games. Specifically, I played Madness Combat or Madness Interactive or whatever. Or no, Project Nexus. I played Project Nexus, the Flash version. And I played uh, The Last Stand. Was that Flash? No, that wasn't Flash, was it? That was not Flash. But I played uh, Project Nexus Flash. And yes, you can play them in a Dead Geek player, but... It was really laggy, and I think that's a problem just with Flash itself. I tried everything. I tried to make it run like at least at 30 FPS, but for some reason, despite how like decent my PC is, and no matter how I tried to like re-optimize stuff, it was just like not. It would just lag for like no reason. I do want to return to playing Project Nexus though, because I enjoyed playing that arena mode and the zombies mode, and the story was pretty cool too. I believe the last time- Oh, Madness got updated, I believe. Yeah, Madness Combat uh, by Crinkles, it got an update since the last time I watched it, so I might have to like watch that again. Okay, let's see. Buy this. Excel all these. Ooh, nice. And then, what's it gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna upgrade my rod. Rod power, rod speed, rod chance, rod luck, tackle box upgrade. Probably rod power next, just in case. Cause if I catch, if I catch like a really rare alpha fish, I'm so boned if I don't like have the right stuff for that. 
Oh, you're on the rocks? Nice. Tackle box is a scam upgrade? I mean, it's not a scam upgrade, it's just for like people who are lazy. I mean, normally that would be me. I, I would totally love that. I'm gonna move over here for a bit. I would totally do that, but um, I don't have the money for that. It's more like a last, a last upgrades type of thing. Also, yeah, what are you gonna spend money on? Once you get all the upgrades, you kind of have to buy it next. But it's gonna be the last thing I spend money on. So laggy. Have you tried? Just try re try rejoining. Otherwise, yeah, you just can't really do anything about it. Again, it's probably a problem with the game itself. <sighs> Is this the game plus rendering? Oh, uh, I see. Oh, it is what it is. I'll, I'll play this game like on and off still. Up until maybe I catch like everything, but I doubt I'll catch everything for a while. My goal in this game is to get all the upgrades first, then the clothing, then the rods, and then finally to max out my journal for these fishes. But I put a lot of time into this game. I have like 30 hours in this game now at this point, and I'm nowhere close to like finishing the journal. A huge drum. Now there's people who are like level 50 plus and they still haven't maxed out their their fishes because catching a specific alpha fish for like trying to max everything out I'd imagine would be very very painful man I want some like medical badge and the crown is cool and all but it doesn't really fit the, the outfit I'm going for I want like a lab scientist style outfit I guess I could get glasses, but I don't know. The glasses don't really feel like they fit, honestly. These look very nerdy. Oh, wait, weren't there spiral glasses? I have to find the spiral glasses. The alpha gold ring in the bed. Dude, I haven't found like the that huge the coal I can fish. No, not that one. The uh the huge, huge ancient fish. I haven't found that one yet. Leads, that's it. I haven't found the leads yet. The funny, huge, giant fish from uh, Ark. It's been a, well, like a hot minute. And I also want to find more axolotls. Is that where it's from? It's not from Ark. It's an actual fish. But I only know about it from Ark. It was a very, very big fish. I don't have like thalassophobia. And I don't have a fear of like big giant undersea monsters, but when you're like, you know, human size inside an arc and you're going into the sea after seeing so many like huge giant dinosaurs, you kind of expect to see kind of like big monsters, right? But no, those uh, those fish, they are next level. They are giant. I, I, I think I saw like the um the giant squid, the giant alpha squid in Ark, and I was actually kind of like scared. <laughs> Just in the massive size of it alone, I did not want to aggro it at all. Also, that one fish, the the Moby Dick fish, or pff, Moby Dick fish, the Moby Dick whale, that thing is also kind of massive. The one where like if you're riding on a boat. It can attack you from the bottom and just demolish everything and kill you immediately because it just hates boats. I put a lot of time into Ark. More time than I feel like I should have. And I didn't even have like a good PC at the time. I had to run everything at lowest settings. It was nice though. Moby Dick fish. Moby Dick is not a fish. Moby Dick is a whale. Oh. A crab. Posted in Discord? Oh, you got the trick shot. Nice. Oh my god, you even got the mushroom. Oh my god. I will give you... Oh shit. I will give you one Twitter like 
If you post on Twitter. Certified. I just missed an alpha? Did I actually? Holy shit. Wait, what is this? What the hell is this? Oh crap, what the hell is this? Oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Whew. What the? Wow. Big. It's the gator. I got so much XP from that. Okay, this guy. $2,500! Okay, you're, you're the new big catch. Goodbye, Mr. Massive Alligator. Funny enough, he's not even the large one. Is he bigger than my other one? Hold on. Who's bigger? Okay, he's not that big. Huh. I guess... No, this one's this one's bigger, I guess, technically. Whatever. He is a hefty lad. He's a chonker. Hi, Q. Hi, Cox. Welcome in. Yeah, it says the size on it. I thought it was bigger at first, but I think I was just zoomed in. That's why. Oh, no, my, no, my soda. Uh, I'll do this. Nope. Nope. Wait, did I actually miss an alpha? <laughs> Wait, did I actually? I'm gonna be so mad if I did. God damn it. Could've gotten money from that. XP. Could've gotten both. At some point, I might just switch from using- getting the money. The bonus money. Oh, I did? God damn it. Whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna switch from getting bonus money to getting bonus XP because... You know, eventually, you're just gonna max out on everything. You'll get everything unlocked in the shop. So the only thing left is just to get more XP. I'd imagine that all the late game people are, have just invested into, like... Yeah, they probably invested it into just, like, uh, getting the soda that gives you, like, XP. Actually, this is probably enough. They should give me enough money to, like, buy everything once I get all the rare stuff. So once I- once I empty all my money, I'll probably most likely start buying the XP. Yeah, the XP soda. The money was good at first for early and mid game, but late game, there's not really any points. Small guppy. Am I still using this? I am using the Nautilus. What if they had the super golden cosmetic rod for 100k? 100k does not mean anything late game. Did you not see the alligator we caught? That guy was worth 2,500 duck. Like 250... 2,500 dollars. I mean, there's more rods you can unlock. It does the ghost rod, obviously. And then there's the rod that you can get from uh, getting mastery in your journal. I don't know, the guy said that he was waiting to like press out all the bugs in this game first before he gets more stuff unlocked, like for updates. So we'll have to just wait and see. Nice alligator. You should really just ride the wave though. If he keeps updating the game, 100% people will just tell their friends to buy this game. I mean, people already have. He's probably made so much money from this game alone already. Like millions, probably. I wonder if you can actually check how many people are playing web fishing right now. Let's go see. Steam. Charts. Web fishing. Alright, let's check this out. 4,480 people. Not bad for a casual, like, fishing game. And the peak in the last 24... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Wait. It actually hit its peak for this game less than 24 hours ago. Because apparently people... 17,000 people played this. God damn. Got tiny alligator. It peaked, it peaked nine hours ago. I think it's still growing. Oh my god. 
I think this game is still going on. 3,000. Oh my god, that's even worth more than the last one. Yeah, he should totally be riding this wave. Unless he just wants to, like, you know, be one and done. Or if he does, like, what the Flappy Bird creator guy, he was like, no, I don't want to be, like, you know, in the spotlight. I think I'll just disappear. Hi, Livix. Welcome in. He struck gold. Keep keep striking gold, man. Uh, I love this game so much. I don't want to see it die out. I mean, even if you do... Even if you do, like, not update this game, that's fine. I'll still enjoy this game for what it's worth, even if I collect everything. Even if I unlock everything. It's too relaxing. It's too comfy. I forgot to get more soda. Ooh, hold on. Also, for 5,000 people, well, 4,500 people playing this game during like literal graveyard hours, it's not bad. Like we're at the uh, we're at the dip right now that happens every night. Yeah, I think it's. I still think it's slowly growing. That is insane. Actually crazy. Ooh. Getting so many radiant stuff. What the hell? I'm not complaining. Huge perch. I think I'll upgrade more stuff. Can I? I think I can. So I need to buy more bait. Where's the store? Hey, pants. 8 a.m. AT dip. Looks like it. According to Steam charts, this is like the dip right now. Can I sell? Buy this. Maybe I'll just sell it. Actually, you know what? just sell this. I kind of need to get the extra stuff. I'll find another alligator. I always do. Okay, next one. Golden hook. Higher chance of catching extremely rare fish. $10,000. Goddamn. Doesn't seem like it's worth it. Real speed, rod luck. Right, catch chance. Maybe this one next. Then rod speed. This better be significant, man. Mmm, soda. Is anyone actually using the golden, the golden lure or whatever it's called? Or is it not worth it? Because if you were to use, you are. Maybe it's worth it if you have like the level thirty, or not the level thirty, the thirty tackle box thingy limit. Because using three at once sounds like it'd be kind of rough, unless you just like are fine with going back and forth. I don't know how it'd be though. Is it all worth it? I think it just depends on like what kind of fish you're trying to go for. If you're trying to be a completionist, you know, I'd imagine it'd be very, very useful. More useful than the sparking lure. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I think it's not worth it in the sense that like people just think that like it's not it's not viable to go back and forth. If you're not near like the uh, fishing thingy, the replenishment fish, the bait. But that's more like uh, an issue of just being like lazy, I guess. Yeah, like late game, I'm pretty sure is just like you either care about leveling or you care about finishing your journal because there's nothing left to unlock unless there's like, you know, special chests. Radiance? I'm finding so many of these radiance, Jesus. Alright. Rainbow trout. I have not been leveling up my fishing buddies too. 
this way. Mm -hmm. Two, three. What? Another coin bag, nice. Going to the island to buy Beta the Strat? Oh, you mean just like, uh, oh, I see. That's your shortcut. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if there's any, like, bait area near, like, a body of water so you can just stand next to it. Probably not, right? Plus, if you're, like, you know, if you're not trying to go for freshwater fishing, you can just go to your island, which has bait in there. She's it there. Come on. Come on. Not that close, but there is one over toward the beach. A third is close, but none for salt water. Really? Really? None for salt water? Kind of surprising. Big? Big? Oh, wow. <laughs> These alligators really love me now, huh? I keep getting so many alligators tonight. Not complaining. Come on. Come on. Give me the last fish. Give me the missing fish. That's all I ask. Just one missing fish. The beach. Oh, right. That one. I remember that one. That's the one with the souvenirs, all right. I think. A large leech. Is really that boring? Oh no, I enjoy all the spots here. I actually like have gone to like almost every other spot. All the popular spots and the less popular spots. Like the dock, people might say the dock is boring because like, you know, that's where, you know, people would fish, but I like it there. I think it's pretty it's a pretty nice atmosphere. It's good for meeting new people cuz they always tend to head over to like the more popular fishing spots. So you can just hang around there. I don't really find it an issue. I, I like finding like obscure spots that people haven't really been to. But also like, you know, I enjoy being like around where people fish. I think most people do. I've yet to actually to find a group, like a public lobby where people were like just separated doing their own thing because you know, this is a game where you're supposed to like, you know, just casually hang out with other people. <laughs> You can be solo on your own if you wanted to, but it's like, at that point, if you're just going to play solo on your own, you could just play, you know, offline. Or not offline, but like, you know, single player. Solo lobby. You can get into the waterfall by the beach? Yeah, you can actually. Uh, that's actually where you get something cool. I don't know if I should spoil it. But you do get a, you get something cool. A large turtle. I like turtles. Come on. Tuna. Is that a magic carp? There's another waterfall further down? Wait, what? Hey, really? <laughs> Wait, I haven't been to that one. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go there actually. Now you have to now you kinda of want me to have it checking out. God. Wait, why did you have to tell me this? I have to go myself. What do you mean am I stupid? I've never been down there before. Fuck off. Congratulations, Harry, on wasting your points. Why would you waste your points? <laughs> no, re no, really. Why? Why would you use that button? That button literally only exists as bait. Nothing happens. Literally, nothing happens when you use that. A small toad. I was near that at the start of the game. I do not remember. Like an ice cube. Ice cubes are pretty cool. All right, I might check there real quick. I want to know now. I want to know if it's like worth checking out. Hmm. You could have had this for five k. 
I will practice and regret my basic literacy skills that landed me this job by reading an alliance or copy pasta. Did I make it too weird for HR? I'll ask you to choose another. Wait, isn't that literally what my description is? You t you told me to read out the description for reading your lines. Very honestly, that's pretty original. I will admit. Unhip? What do you mean un unhip? They were lying. Did you fall? F oh no! Did you fall for it? Wait, did they trick you? Cause I was about to go there myself. I'm I'm th thankful for like you sacrificing your gullibility to go on there. Thank you for that. A huge carp. All right, fine. I'll go there myself. I'll go check it out. Just give me a sec. Hmm. Maybe. Wait. I forget. How do I keep on forgetting to get the dumb like soda every single time? What kind of what I need now a soda. Maybe, please, please. 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 Oh, okay, finally. I want, I want what I'm missing, please. I want the funny lead. I haven't got an alpha at all. Wait, did I actually miss that alpha? <laughs> God, the one time I was not paying attention and I missed, like, the first five star. Wait, soda. Alright, last one. Come on. 